No, I didn't start recording, stupid me. Hello and welcome to another Solana tutorial. I keep learning stuff, so I want to keep sharing stuff with you. And yes, I've said this thing before, but I did not record. Well, well, well. Now let's do all of that again. So, today I want to talk about tokens and how you can get your own custom token address. Because I think I found out how to do that. Now, you might have seen that yourself before on projects like uh, Star Atlas. If you look at their Atlas token, yes, I've already Googled it before. Now we're just gonna look here in the Explorer. The Star Atlas token starts with Atlas. And I was like, how did they do that? I had no idea, but I think I found out. I think I know now. I think I know how it is done. Now, before we talk about that though, let's talk about the Solana keygen. Because when we create a new wallet what i think it does is it comes up with a private key so it picks one at random and then it derives the public key from that or in this case actually it thinks of the seed phrase and then it derives the private key and then it derives the public key from that now there is a thing called grind that basically does this thing over and over and over again. And here you can specify um, that you want your public address to end with a certain string or to start with a certain string or both. And this then basically goes through a lot of private keys until it finds one that has a public key that matches that criteria. Now we're going to do that. We are going to say we want to grind and start with, let's say, Andy. And we only want to find one. And we are also going to ignore a case because obviously this is computationally intensive and the more letters you're searching for, the more it needs to try out. One letter, super easy. Two letters, still easy. Three letters, uh, getting more complicated. Four, usually already takes some time. Not now though. Wow! And it even says NDS. This is by pure luck though. Because uh, I just specified Andy. I, I'm good with NDS though. Cool. And it was also super fast. I mean, I already realized that addresses starting with A are more common. J just for demonstration, if I were to search for a lowercase Andy, uh, it would search a lot longer. So just not having the capital A here, it will search a lot longer, I'm sure. So, point of this whole thing is, this is a way how we can find addresses, like wallets, private keys, private key, public key pairs, that have, oh my poor computer, <laughs> that uh, have a certain public key, right? Where you have a certain public key. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's not going to find that anytime soon because four letters um, with uh, case sensitive, especially if we start with a lowercase a, this is just gonna, this is just gonna take too long. So we're not going to do that. Um, but we are going to search for 
just to demonstrate that it then takes longer let's say Andy T for Andy token there you go you have the Andy T and uh, the rest is random obviously now if you're thinking well this way I could find the private key to a specific address if I just specify the entire thing as the prefix but again if you want to find more letters it gets more computationally intensive really quickly so if you want to find the entire address the, I mean that's what the security is based on right that nobody will be able to do that with the computers that we have today otherwise you know the whole the whole uh, concept is worthless anyhow we have those JSON files now they are basically just a file containing a few numbers we can actually uh, have a look at them um, what was the comment uh, for god damn it was the comment for showing in windows it the, the cat equivalent I can't type more on Andy S. There you go. Never, ever, 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 ever show this to anyone. Ne just don't. Just don't. Do not. Do not do this. I've made this mistake several times in the past that I put my private keys in my YouTube videos and here you go again. But uh, I will make sure never, ever to use this uh, public uh, address uh, Andy S N2 Mac. I mean, it although it sounds pretty cool, but I can never ever again uh, use this uh, for any real purposes because you now know my private key. I mean, not yet because I have a part of it off, but I'm gonna show you the entire thing because I'm gonna show you something cool. If you want to add that to your phantom wallet then you can easily do that uh, what's my password by clicking add and then input from private key and then the Andy don't ever use this whatever Yeah, you get the idea. Don't ever. Don't ever. Uh, there's my private key again. <laughs> and you can input this. Obviously, there's not going to be any soul on that. Um, and because I cannot be bothered uh, to get myself some soul on this address, I'm going to just go on to the DevNet. And then we're going to use this address here as well. So we say... Solana config set key pair and then we use this JSON and then we say URL on the devnet and then there we go now we can do air drop come on no Oh yeah, we want to say, I don't know, TENSOL! Is that too much? Nah, that might be too much. Okay, fine, three soul. Let's not be too greedy. It's just definite money anyway. <laughs> Am I recording this time? Good, I'm recording this time. Um, come on. Go through, thank you. Um, and... If we check our balance, we have three sol. And to demonstrate that, of course, this is the same wallet. 
there we also have three soul. I wish that was real, but it's not. But anyhow, you can see I have this address imported, which is already super cool, right? This already, that's already a start. We already have our account, like our external account, which is a wallet. Uh, we managed to import it. And it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it has a cool address. If you ever want to, uh, I don't know, have, have your wallet address start with something specific, you know, that's one way to go. Anyhow, um, we wanted to find out if we can do the same thing with a token. And I haven't actually tried it, but last time when I was teaching somebody how to use the SPL token library, which I do quite a lot because a lot of people ask me about it because that's my most popular video lately. Um, the SPL token create token actually has token key pair. When I, when I explained this, what it does, I saw token key pair as an optional argument here. And I was like, I think I can use that for providing the key that I want to use there, right? So the token key pair specified a token key pair. This may be a key pair file or the ask keyword. So we can specify a file that contains the key pair. And essentially, I mean, a key pair file is just a private key because the public key can be derived from that. And on default, it uh, creates a randomly generated key pair. So usually I create nothing, so it creates a randomly generated key pair. But now check this out, ladies and gentlemen, if I actually say create token and I ignore everything, I stand at nine decimals and whatever, and then I just provide the key pair because I don't need anything else, don't need any of that stuff. I just provide the key pair. Let's say Andy token. That's the one that we created earlier. Let's just do this. This seems to work. Look at this, look at this. Andy T for Andy token. And we have we have a token with that address now oh man this is I, I love this i love this okay 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 cool check this out uh we can now uh uh spl token uh, create account for this thing boom let's do that then we have an account and then we can say spl token mint this thing let's say i don't know 42 because that's a cool number and then, ladies and gentlemen, we now, if we look in our wallet here, we have an unknown token, but it starts with NDT! NDT! What? I, I think that's cool. You do not need to agree that that's cool, but I personally think that that's cool, okay? I think that's cool. Yeah, definitely think that's cool. And that's everything that I wanted to show you today. I mean, there are so many more things that I could be uh, showing you, but I will keep them for a separate video. I mean, if, I mean, this just, it's just so cool to play around with Solana. If you have any more questions, uh, drop them in the comments below or better in my Discord because the chances of me replying there are a lot higher. If you really want to get my attention, uh, start your message with, hey, I bought your NFT. How you can do that? Uh, watch the last video and uh, then I definitely reply to you if you ha if you hold my NFT. Um, I usually reply though, but I don't usually help everyone, especially if they just want my help and don't give anything back. But anyhow, <sighs> isn't it nice to play around with Solana? If only I had more free time, I could do... Oh, this is so cool. Ah, so cool. I just... <laughs> Just love that. I have 42 ND token. It doesn't even have a name. It does not have a name. Of course, I could go through the process of, uh, you know, naming it, although now it's on the DevNet, so we don't, we're not going to do that. 
but yeah, I could do that same thing on the main network the exact same way. I was just too lazy to get myself some salt on that address. And also, uh, let me remember to delete this such that I will never come to the idea that I use this for anything productive whatsoever. Although it was a really cool address to use. Now, you, go play around with Solana or, or anything else that interests you. But I mean, if you're watching that far, then probably it is Solana and tokens. And uh, yeah, learn about that stuff because I think the future is gonna have a lot of that, a lot of that. I'm, I'm pretty bullish on Solana. Now, in any case, I should, I should stop it. I forgot to start it earlier, but now I should stop it. And I wish you a good night and or a good day or whatever. I should stop talking. And I really hope that you have as much fun with Solana as I have. Peace.